before we see what negative numbers are let's look at this building here the floor where we enter the building which is on the ground it's called as the ground floor let's call that floor as floor number zero why floor number zero because to enter this floor you don't climb any stairs so let's call that as floor number zero and when you go up one staircase then you reach the first floor so that is floor number one so let's label all the floors as zero one two three four now what we are going to do is that whenever we go up if we go up one floor we are going to call it as plus one and whenever we go down if you go down one floor we will call it as minus one or if you go down two floors we'll call that as minus two and so on so let's start with the ground floor when i say plus one you will go up one floor and you reach here which is the first floor if the next number is plus three then you will climb up three floors and you will reach here to the floor number four now the next one is minus two that means you are going to come down two floors and you will reach here on the second floor now the next one is minus one so you'll come down one more floor and you will reach here which is on the first floor now the next one is minus two now how do you come down two floors where are you going to go after the ground floor you know some buildings have a basement so what if this building has a basement then you can go down two floors right so then you can go down two floors and you can reach here you can reach the basement that means now you have come below zero right so you are at the floor which is below zero or something which is less than zero so whatever is less than zero that is called as a negative number that means when we number this floor that would be a negative number so you are one floor below zero so let's call this as negative one when you are one floor above zero it is one one is the same as positive one so one and positive one is the same thing when you are one floor above zero it is positive one when you are one floor below zero it is negative one what if there are two floors in the basement if there is one more floor below negative one then that would be called as negative two now let's turn this building and make it horizontal okay instead of the vertical erect building if you turn it like this and make it horizontal it will look like this now you can see the numbers here the ground floor is zero and on the right hand side you have these positive numbers one two three four and on the left hand side you have the negative number in mathematics the same thing is shown on a line called as the number line so this is how a number line looks zero is in the middle and on the right hand side of the zero there are all the positive numbers and on the left hand side of the zero there are all negative numbers when you write the positive numbers you can either write a plus sign before the number or you can write the numbers without any sign if there is no sign that means it is as good as the plus sign if a number is negative you write a minus sign before the number to indicate that the number is negative so this is how a number line looks so now you understand that the numbers which are bigger than zero are on the right hand side all those numbers are positive numbers some numbers can be less than zero smaller than zero those numbers are on the left hand side and those are called as negative numbers that means you will realize that as you go from left to right the value increases and as you go from right to left the value comes down decreases that means 1 is smaller than 5 if you go further left 0 0 is smaller than 1 and negative 1 is smaller than 0 and negative 5 is smaller than negative 1 
So now we understand what negative numbers are. But where do they use it? Can you think of something? The negative numbers are used for temperatures. You must have heard that in cold regions, the temperatures are below zero. Or in some places in winter, the temperature is less than zero. You must have heard that in Leh, Leh is in Ladakh, the temperature is negative 10. Or in Srinagar, the temperature is negative 5. What does it mean? It means that the temperature in Srinagar is 5 degrees less than 0. Or in Leh, it is 10 degrees less than 0. Now, how do we show these numbers on a number line? Let's consider these four cities. Leh, negative 10 degrees Celsius. Srinagar, negative 5 degrees Celsius. And Pune, 25 degrees. And Chennai, 35 degrees. Everything is in Celsius. And this is our number line. Now, can you show the temperature in layer? It is negative 10. So, I have written L here. This is negative 10. Srinagar is negative 5. So, let's look at negative 5 and write S for Srinagar. Pune is 25. So, 25 is here. I have written P. And Chennai is 35. So, we have C here. Now, if you look at the difference between the temperature of Leh and Srinagar, that means the difference between negative 10 and negative 5, you can see that there are 5 steps in between these two numbers. That means the temperature of Srinagar is 5 degrees more than Leh or the temperature of Leh is 5 degrees less than that of Srinagar. See how this works. When you go to the right hand side, the temperature increases. When you go to the left hand side, the temperature decreases. That's why Srinagar's temperature is 5 degrees more than Leh's temperature. Even if 10 looks bigger than 5, we instinctively feel that 10 is bigger than 5. Negative 10 is smaller than negative 5. Therefore, Srinagar's temperature is higher than Leh's temperature. Now let's see the difference between Srinagar and Pune. The difference between negative 5 and 0 is 5, right? Because you will have to take 5 steps to reach from negative 5 to 0. So that difference is 5. And between 0 to 25 is 25. So the total difference is 5 and 25 which is 30. That means Pune's temperature is 30 degrees more than that of Srinagar. A Srinagar's temperature is 30 degrees smaller than that of Pune. And what's the difference between Pune and Chennai? It's 10 degrees. The difference between 25 and 35 is 10 degrees. So now you know how you can use the number line. Whenever you are not sure about the value of any negative number or you are comparing two numbers, either you can draw the number line or you try to visualize it. Where else do we use the negative numbers? We use it for profit and loss. If you see, loss is opposite of profit. That means loss is really negative of profit. Let's take an example. Let's say the cost price is 100 and the selling price is 80. That means it's a loss of 20 rupees. So when you say 20 rupees are lost, it is the same as getting negative 20 rupees. See, if the cost price is 100 and selling price is 120, then you have 20 rupees of profit. Okay, it is positive 20. The profit is positive 20. If cost price is 100 and the selling price is also 100, both are 100, then the profit is 0. But in this case, the cost price is 100 and the selling price is 80. So now the profit is negative 20. Loss of 20 rupees is the same thing as the profit of negative 20 rupees. So how much you got in this business? You got negative 20 rupees. That means you lost 20 rupees. Let's see something else where negative numbers are used. You must have heard of something called as negative marking. Do you know what it is? In some tests, in some competitive examinations, they use negative marking. What it means is that there are certain rules like this. If your answer is correct, you'll get two marks. And if your answer is wrong, 
your one mark will be deducted so when you get two marks it is something you are gaining you are getting so it is positive two when the marks are deducted when you are losing something then it is negative one right so in such kind of test it is possible that you may get negative marks how suppose it's a test of 10 questions and you get all the 10 answers wrong then what is your score you would score negative 10 marks right because they did a one mark per answer and if you have 10 wrong answers then they will deduct 10 marks so you would get negative 10 marks you lose 10 marks that means you get negative 10 marks what if seven answers are right and three are wrong then you are going to get two marks per right answer so you will get seven twos are 14 and you are going to lose three marks for three wrong answers so 14 minus 3 equals 11 positive 14 negative 3 that gives you 11 so your score will be 11 so what you can do is next time whenever you do any homework or whenever you take test just for fun try to deduct some marks for the wrong answers and calculate your score do it just for fun so that you get comfortable using the positive as well as the negative numbers